This episode of Tutcast is brought to you by GDIforMoms.com. Let them help you build a better business for yourself, but not by yourself. GDIforMoms.com Hey there, and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial from Tutcast.com. A few of you may remember a few months ago I released a tutorial called Awesome Eyes in Photoshop where I took a picture of a model with blue eyes and I made those eyes really stand out, made them a lot better, more presentable for a magazine. And a lot of people sent me messages or left comments on that video asking, what about brown eyes? How do I make my brown eyes stand out and look better? Well, I'm finally getting around to it and here's the tutorial. So we're going to make these standard brown eyes that you see in front of us. They're a little bit dark and they're a little bit dull. We're going to make them stand out. We're going to make it ready for a magazine. The end result may look a little bit fake, but if you look at magazines, nothing really looks real. So here we go. We have this pair of brown eyes in front of us, and we're going to be using similar methods from that previous tutorial. We're going to be using the burn tool, the dodge tool, a selection method, and curves to make this eye really stand out. So we're going to start off by dodging and burning. So here we go, we're going to go over to our tools palette, the left hand side of our screen, and we're going to start off by grabbing the dodge tool, which is right over here. Now let's zoom in on this eye so we can see what we're working with. And at the top of our interface we have a few options specifically for the burn and dodge tool. We can choose whether we want to dodge the highlights, midtones, or shadows. Obviously those affect the light, the medium, and dark areas of that area you are drawing on top of. We can change the brush size. Typically we want a nice soft brush, so keep the hardness at zero. The diameter, it depends on the size of the area that you're brushing on top of. And the exposure, I like to set really low, so we're going to set it around 30%. We can always adjust accordingly. So what I'm going to do with highlights selected, I'm going to just start painting around the inside of the eye right in this area here. So I'm just going to go around here and it's going to very subtly light that area up. So if you go back to our original state, you notice it just kind of lights it up just a little bit. Nothing too extensive, just a little subtle adjustment. Now we're going to dodge some of the midtones. So at the top, once again, click on range, click on midtones. I'm going to down the exposure to around 20%. And we're going to focus on the middle of the eye now. So around this area here, we're just going to drag and brush around in a circle just like this, just to lighten that middle area up a little bit. Just like that. And we can look at our previous state. That's our before and our after. So it's getting there. It's starting to brighten up a little bit, starting to look a little bit more defined. And once those two are done, we're going to head into the burn tool, which is going to darken some areas up. So at the left hand side of our interface, once again, click on burn tool. At the top, I'm going to select midtones, the exposure, I'm going to keep at 20. And now we're going to focus on the outside of the eye, just to give it a little bit of depth. So we're going to just drag around the outside of the eye. You'll notice it starts to darken up a little bit. Just like this. And once again, if we look at our before and our after, there's definitely some definition starting to form in this eye. It's looking a lot better. Now the last thing we're going to do is we're going to brighten up the eye a little bit and add a curve adjustment. Now, to do that, we have to make a selection. We have to select the eye. Now you can use any method you want. You can use the lasso tool, the pen tool, the elliptical marquee tool. It doesn't matter what tool you use to select it as long as you have the eye selected in the end. I'm going to be grabbing my elliptical marquee tool right over here. And I'm going to very simply drag out an area around the eye, just like this, holding down my spacebar key to move the selection. I'm going to position it around this area here. Now you'll notice there's a little bit at the top selected. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab my polygonal lasso tool and holding down Alt or Option, just select that area I don't want selected. Just like that. And once you have your selection, this is very, very, very important. You have to go to Select, Modify, Feather and enter a decent number, around 5 pixels. This will just soften out that selection so we don't have hard edges after our adjustment. So once we have our selection and it's softened out using Feather, we're going to go to Image Adjustments and then click on Curves. You can see the shortcut key is Command or Control M. Click on that. Here's our Curves dialog box. 
What we're going to do to begin, we're just going to drag this RGB slider up a little bit. That'll just brighten the eye just a tiny little bit. And then we can go into specific channels. We can adjust the reds. We can bring the reds up a little bit to make it a little bit more vibrant. We can head into the blues. We can darken that a little bit. Or, or bring it down a little bit, I should say. And you'll notice that the eye is starting to the color is starting to change a little bit and it's looking a little bit better. So adjust your settings to your liking. It depends on the eye that you're working with. Not all eyes will have the same adjustments. And when you're finished, click OK and then you can go ahead and deselect. So looking at the original state, we have a pretty dark, boring, dull eye. And if we look at what we have now, it's a little bit more defined, there's a little bit more color, and it's looking a little bit better. And if we zoom out to look at the picture at a whole and compare it to the other eye, it does look a little bit better. It looks a little bit fake, I will admit that, but if you look in a magazine, nothing looks real. They're usually very defined and very vibrant, which is exactly what we did. So once again, we're going to zoom in here. You can see the original on the left, the new one on the right. Obviously, you can make adjustments accordingly to your liking. Take a look at the original. Here's the original, and here's the new. So there you go. Finally, I got around to doing the brown eyes tutorial. The blue eyes tutorial is still up there. It's on my main channel, youtube.com slash iceflowstudios. I hope you learned something in this tutorial. Hope you picked up on some tips. Until next time, this is Howard from tutcast.com. Take care.